It's Saturday again, and I got ten and a half hours of sleep last night. It's gonna be a good day. I'm uh, headed to hang out with some guys that I haven't seen in a long time. They're some of my best friends, but I've been busy and we haven't caught up in two weeks. But first, I gotta eat some breakfast. Actually, by now, it's more like lunch. Got some bagels for the bros, and uh, a little BLT for me. There was a couple in there that spoke solely through eyebrow movement. I don't understand how that works. Pressure, I don't know what to say. What, what, are we, what are we up to? We are headed to Kroger to, hold on, this is good stuff. Turn in this giant jug of colon cleansing medicine that I did not need to drink all of, thankfully, and buy alcohol for my friend for his birthday. How old is he turning? He's turning 23. Dang, he's old. Yeah, he's an old dude. He works now. In the real world. In the real world. He's and trying to marry Jordan, so, you know. And we're both groomsmen. And we are both, wait, what? Yeah. You're a groomsman? You didn't know that? No, I didn't know yeah. that. What's up? Oh, that was terrible. No, that was, High five. Sorry, we'll redo we'll, that. We'll, we'll try. We'll wait till we get out of the car and I can sure. look at sure. you instead of driving. That is so hard. Yeah, he came down for like uh, <laughs> the game, like two games ago. And he's like, hey, let's have lunch. I was like, all right. He laid a whole letter and everything. That's awesome. It's pretty romantic. Wow, what a guy. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh. He asked me to be the best man on, on top of an apartment in New York overlooking the skyline Ooh. with a bottle of nice scotch. Yes. It was classic case and perfectly executed. Five groomsmen. Oh, uh, was that even on camera? I don't know. I don't know. Was it? There you go. Yes. There you go. <laughs> well, that was a fun day of doing almost absolutely nothing. I just needed a day to chill with some bros and vegetate, and that's what happened. But now I no longer am able to do nothing. I am part of the wardrobe crew for the school play. Mr. Burns, the theatrical production of Choice, also known as the play that is going on now. It is very difficult to describe. It is, quote, a post-electric play, unquote. Basically, there's no electricity because all the power plants go down and then people cope with their problems by putting together acting troops and reenacting episodes of The Simpsons. And then through an episode of The Simpsons, they then explain what happened to the world. That's about the most logical way I could put this. But my job in this is to make sure the beautiful actors and actresses do not go on stage naked. A very noble goal indeed. I dress them, make sure they're wearing the right costumes and in the right place at the right time.
what? Full wardrobe assistant. Co <laughs> co wardrobe assistant. And we just successfully survived our show. All of our changes are done. Yeah. yeah. We're just hanging up our clothes. <laughs>